Father, we thank you for a time like this before you. We thank you for the mightiness of your name and your power. We thank you because you have never failed. You will never fail. Thank you for what you have been doing at the Mana Water Services. Thank you because you keep telling us that greater things are still ahead. Accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. In today's Mana Water Program. In today's Mana Water Program. Let every forward gear of the enemy be reversed. In the name of Jesus. All the midnight satanic angels. From the coven. And has been arrested the destiny of anyone. We bury them now in the name of Jesus. We bury them now in the name of Jesus. The power base of every infirmity. I command them to dry up in the name of Jesus. And any hole designed by your ancestors to swallow your future is cancelled now in the name of Jesus. To you, Father, be the glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's have a seat. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. And let's take our Bibles. That's the baby baby. There is a powerful product from heaven. That brings a man sweatless victory. There is a product from heaven. That has the key. To unknown solution. There is a program from heaven which is an electric current which moves you from your, from your present situation into the destiny God has for you. There is something from heaven that puts you in the right place at the right time to meet the right person who will unlock your destiny. I'm not praying, I'm just telling you a product from heaven. That's a product from heaven which we do for you what your education, your personality, your abilities, and your careers cannot do. There is something from heaven, an entity from heaven, that takes you from ordinary to extraordinary. There is something from heaven, that can bring you out of difficulties and turn your adversities for good. There is a product from heaven. Maybe you don't know what the product is that can open any door you knock. This product is the subject of our prayer today for ourselves and prayer on our water. There is a problem from heaven. That is a carrier of uncommon breakthroughs. There is a problem from heaven. That can prove it will provoke people to render you help when you need help. 
do le ti awon eniyan ni dandan lati ran olowo ni gba to ni lo iranwo like a product from heaven ohun kan wa lati orun that can give you immediate access to the throne of god to le fun olaye lati de ite olorun lesekese that is a product from heaven ohun kan wa lati orun that triggers supernatural increase to ma ru idipupo si latowo olorun so okay that is a product from heaven that produces very great victory in the midst of what people call impossibilities. That's a product from heaven that produces recognition for you. Even when you seem to be the less likely to get it. That's a problem from heaven. That can make you wealthy in one day. One day. So one day like this. No matter your age. One day. That's a problem from heaven. That can silence your lifetime enemy forever. That's a product from heaven. That can make you a household name in one day. That's a product from heaven. That can accelerate the timetable of your destiny assignment. There's a problem from heaven. That one day with this product is worth a lifetime of labor. There's a problem from heaven that can stop tragedy instantly in any life. There's a problem from heaven that can restore everything, everything capital letter plus interest of what the enemy has told you. That's a product from heaven that can bring you honor in the midst of adversaries. That's a product from heaven that can increase your assets whether you ask for assets or you don't ask for assets. That's a problem from heaven. That can win battle you don't even need to fight because God is already fighting the battle for you. That's a problem from heaven. That can give you a miracle marriage. That's a problem from heaven. That when you run into problems, instead of you breaking down, you break record. That's a problem from heaven. That makes men stand at attention at your presence. There is a product from heaven that can change your desert place of life to the Garden of Eden. That's a product from heaven that can make you function without struggle. That can make you receive without asking. There is a product from heaven. That is a switch for uncommon breakthrough. The cure for misfortune and bad luck. That's a product from heaven. Which is a key to walking in divine blessings. That's a problem from heaven. That will make God to always arise and have mercy on you. That's a problem from heaven. That programs unlimited success. 
That is a program from heaven that makes the difference between mediocre and a high flyer. This product makes a man to matter inside and outside. That's a product from heaven. Which, which is like a divine release. It goes before a man and repairs his ways. That's a product from heaven. Which serves as a ladder to the top. That is a product from heaven. That can transfer a man. From the prison of poverty Latino tubu ishe, to a palace of wealth si afi oro. within 24 hours. Lari, le logo. That's a program from heaven that has the capacity to, to move any man struggling forward. Ati mu enikani, ton la kaka, deni waju. This product can shorten the distance. Between your dream and the realization, this product is called divine favor. And that's going to take us into four scriptures very quickly there are almost 50 scriptures but just, just look at four there is a woman in the bible the woman is a mystery mystery nobody understood what happened to her she is extremely popular she is a big woman. Anywhere you mention her name, people nod. In approval. But the woman has never worked any single miracle. She didn't raise the dead. She didn't preach to anybody to get born again. We didn't read about her doing deliverance for anybody. We didn't even read that she traveled out of her town or village or whatever. Yet she's one of the most important, if not the most important woman in scripture. The name is Mary. What did Mary have that qualified her for what happened to her? Look at the book of Luke. The book of Luke. Chapter 2. Verse 52. Luke 2, 52. Luke 52. If you are not used to praying some prayers, that of tonight is an exception. Pray to because there is a purpose for this message. In fact, as a matter of fact, this message is because of you. In Luke chapter 2, verse 52. Luke chapter 2, verse 52. This is our Lord Jesus Christ Himself. And I want you to understand what we say now. It says, and Jesus, Jesus increased in wisdom and stature. And in what? And in what? Favor with God and Man. Even our Lord Jesus Christ Jesus was someone who needed this product from heaven. 
emitted this product from heaven and increase in wisdom favor with God and with man and pray for somebody here today the anointing to plug your life into the socket of divine favor receive it now in the name of Jesus let your amen roll a thunder a seven fold man another seven fold man another seven fold man Sit down a little bit. Now turn right back to the same book of Luke. Chapter 1. Look at what it says in verse 30. This is what Mary had. That was what she had. Nothing else. Luke 130. Look, and the angel said unto her, Angel, no, see, we will pray. Fear not, Maberu, Mary, Maria, for thou hast found favor with God. Lord, oh Lord. That was all Mary found. And now she's a very big woman. Oh, what do you? in the things of God. In Psalm 44 verse 3. Psalm 44 3. See this very interesting scripture. For they got not the land in possession by their own sword. It's not because they can fight. Neither did their own did their own arm save them. But thy right hand because and an arm and the light of thy countenance because thou hast a favor unto them. That's what give them all those things. Look a little bit at Proverbs. Chapter 22. Verse 1. Proverbs 22. One. A good name is rather to be chosen than great riches. And loving favor rather than silver and gold. I decree once more that the anointing to plug your life into the socket of divine favor will fall upon you now in the name of Jesus. A louder amen. A louder amen. A louder amen. Yet a louder amen. Now open your Bible. What should be very there? The book of Esther. See we extra. Esther. See we Esther. Chapter 5. Orikaro. Verse 2. Esther 5 2. Iwe Esteri. Orikaro. Esther Ekeji. In the land of Medes and Persia. Nile. Awamede. Ati Persia. No one can go into the presence of the king without permission. Kose anito le lo si wajoba la iba ashe. No one can just stand up and walk straight into the presence of the king. If you do it, the punishment is death. 
and nobody has ever tried it before or somebody tried it Let's see how that person got through. Esther 5.2 Esther 5.2 Esther 5.2 And it was so when the king saw Esther the queen standing in the court that she obtained favor in his sight. And the king held out to Esther the golden scepter. Was in hand. So Esther drew near and touched the top of the scepter. If you must have uncommon success, you must have divine favor. That favor is the supernatural hand that will guide you into greatness. The Bible says, He that findeth a wife, findeth a good thing. He obtained favor from the Lord. You need favor to marry too. To find a good wife, to find a good husband. Good wife, to find a good husband. Favor is necessary. Can you raise up your right hand again? No, what to raise up? Say, I block my life <laughs> into the socket of divine favor by the power in the blood of Jesus. Shout it three times. Sit down, beloved. Ejo kuara. Sit down. Ejo ko. Some years back. Lord, you may look on. A sister. Arab American was preparing for a medical examination. Omurasi le lati she idon wo kon ne pa eko ishegu. You can only take that examination three times. Idon wo mu igbameta ototo la ye wa fun yon lati she. After the third time, no more. Then you can't do it again forever. She failed the first one. She failed the second one. It remained only one now. She was afraid. That drove her into prayers. She actually, for the first time in her life, did three days dry fast. To prepare for this medical examination. And this kind of medical examination, when you enter into the room, find me a team of professors. They ask you questions. They test you. And they will tell you right away whether you have passed or you have failed. Simple. Sometimes 120 people come for the examinations, they only pass seven. So the sister fasted and went for the exam. When she arrived there, she found some people who were in a class before were very bright, very brilliant. Also coming for the same examination. The first person got him. He came out crying. He had failed. Second person came out sad. He had failed. Third person came out. Failed. Fourth person came out. Failed. Fifth person came out. Failed. Immediately the sister even saw the fifth person. Who used to top their class. Failed. She already started crying. Before the exam, you are starting to cry. 
what kind of people are in the side today? She entered. I think she was number six or seven. I forgot now. When she got in, the professors were there. Our professor one bed. There's a patient lying on the bed. They were supposed to examine that patient. They were supposed to examine it and pass some comments. So she came in. She stood by the patient. They asked her the first question. She did not even understand it. It is when you understand the question you can answer. She did not understand the first question. They fired the second question. She did not understand the second question. Let alone give an answer. So at that level, she was sad. And already wanted to start to cry. You know, for the fact that they paid the professors were there. She was so confused. In her confusion. Because she was, she was by the patient. In her confusion, she held the hand of the patient like this. You just said it like this. Because she was just confused. She held it like this. And then raised up her wristwatch. To find out. How many more minutes she has? Before they, throw, before they throw her out. Immediately she raised up her wristwatch. All the professors shouted. Yes, you got the answer. Yes, you, got it. Yes, you got it. You got it. You got the answer. Say, so you see. Sorry. When. All the other students who have come here. The first thing they are supposed to have done. Is to check the pulse of the patient. You are the first person. To check the pulse. Of the patient. Of course she smiled. <laughs> she knew she was not checking any pulse. She knew she was just calculating how much time they had. Yes. Before they throw out. They clapped. Say thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. That was how she passed the examination. She passed the examination in a way that will show her. It is not by a brain. It's not, it's not by our intelligence. It is not by anything she knows how to do. I block my life into the socket of divine favor by the power in the blood of Jesus. I block my life into the socket of divine favor by the power in the blood of Jesus. Open your mouth like thunder. Somebody needs to pray it louder. In Jesus, then we pray. Lord, call Jesus. Like Badura, sit down, beloved. Sit down. Nineteen in the early eighties. Ni That time, we were in a church in Makoko. 
One day, a young man just walked in. I said, Doctor Lukoya. Doctor Lukoya. God told me. A lot of stuff for me. That you, you, hey, hey. you will pray for me. Hey, oh, bad, do that for me. I will get a scholarship. Oh, bad, boy, call fair. And I will travel abroad. What's the loss? Okay, okay. To study. That's it, Kawe. I say, ah. Yeah. But I don't know you. Me, I'm worried. And God has not told me anything. A lot of stuff come come for me. Say, don't worry, sir. Even if I'm the last person, just be praying for me every day you see me. If it's one second, it's okay. If I'm the last person, I don't mind. And every service day, this fellow was there. Every service day. Was there? Yo did. When I'm doing counseling, when I lift up my head, I seem to there. You are not going to me by. Was a serious matter. Or two Yeah, one. Or two kidney. Didn't travel. No scholarship. Oh, by a break off. Yeah, two. Didn't travel. No scholarship. Oh, in a joke. Then you better work off. It got to a stage. Whenever I saw him, my heart will sink. This boy, is, this boy is coming again. Yeah, three. I don't get that. We pray every service. No scholarship. No scholarship. You can imagine my joy. The day he walked proudly to me. Say, Doctor, look, I have a scholarship now. I'm traveling next week. I was so happy. So relieved. That it won't trouble my life again. So because of that, I said, kneel down. And I prayed serious prayer on his side. Long prayer so that I won't come back to trouble me again. And he left. He was supposed to transit at one airport before he get, got to his final destination. He had never traveled out of Nigeria before. Immediately he got to this first foreign country. As he was coming out of the aircraft, some policemen were by the door. They arrested him. Put handcuff in his hand. And they were dragging him away. He was saying, What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? You to Moshe. So you're a criminal. When you're down on your, a criminal. Or down on your. What have I done? You to Moshe. So he broke down. And started crying. Oh, he was crying. He was crying loud and clear in that international airport. Ah 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 ah. Upon all the prayer that Dr. Lukoya pray for me, they still arrested me here. Ah, ah. Ah, ah. 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 And they locked him up for that night. He cried throughout the night in the cell. But in the morning, when he saw the newspaper, he started dancing. Because the flight, the connecting flight he was supposed to join, had crashed. In fact, they thought he was in the plane. It had crashed. Those who arrested him came to the cell to find him dancing. 
gbadan denu ati mole won ri ko njo but do somewhere looking at the pentans sugba won yen nse ni won ni won ka wo bonu so gentleman we are calling we are very sorry jo ma binu si wa o it was a mistaken identity asiomuni you are not the person we want to arrest ise wo la fe mu very sorry ma binu si wa very sorry ma binu si wa we we hope Aleroke that you are not going to sue us for this. Oh, ni pe wa sile ejo lori oro yi. Sue us? Ni a pe lo ile ejo ke. See the paper. E wo we eroyin. Sue us? No, nobody is going to sue you. To se ani to ma gbe yin lo ile ejo. What happened to that brother? O n to sele si arakunrin yen. Favor. Oju rere ni. Was favor that excluded him. Oju rere lo yo soto. Which was the major prayer I was praying on his head. To je adura ti mo npa ni pa to le lori. I plug my life. Go ti aye mi into the sockets. Ba orisu of divine favor. O jurere Allah. By the power. In the blood of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare it again. Somebody is breaking through. And the gun lu a New York. Louder. Oh, Louder. Oh, okay. The angels of favor. Must you locate you. Must locate you. In Jesus name we pray. Lord of all Jesus. In louder amen. Victory. Have your seat. Ejoko. Divine favor. Oju rere Olorun is something every woman being on earth needs. Oje o ti gbogbo eniyan laye ni lo. Because there is no terrible situation. Itori ko si oro kan kan to kuru that divine favor cannot turn around for good. Dey bi pe oju rere Olorun o le yi pada si rere. With divine favor. Pelu oju rere Olorun there is no limit to what you can become in your life. Ko si idabu abi di won o to le da ninu aye re. By divine favor. Ni pa se oju rere Olorun many of one battles. Awon eniyan ti bori ogun. By divine favor, many were made heroes. By divine favor, slaves became kings. By divine favor, captives turned into captors. By divine favor, confirmed failures became successful. Divine favor is needed. For complete victory, and to make satanic agents your footstool. Atila ti so amu jisha satani di atego atego for. Divine favor has the power. To sustain you in the time of temptation, and to lift you up when you fall down. Kosi kwa zoke iba to ba shugu. A servant who has won divine favor. Oh my daughter, you just really are not bad. We be treated with honor. Won't care, won't care, and he will enjoy the privilege of the freedom. You see, Jam Fani and Won Minira with divine favor. But no, you really are not. It becomes easy to have breakthroughs. You are not Latin Alaja. Divine favor will open every door that was closed against you. Oh, you really are not. You should go go in there for twenty more. It will remove all the obstacles in your way and bring you to success. You should go go in there. But you are not. You see, you are not a shey. Where others have failed, favor will give you success. If it is when you are to feed your army, oh, you really are not. You just keep worrying a shey. Divine favor will change your mountains to a plain. Land. It will turn your impossibilities to possibilities. Without faith, divine favor, tragedy can occur instantly and kill the person away. When divine favor is upon you, you become powerful. Divine favor makes you a mystery. A mystery lamb. Agutan aditu in the midst of wolves. La ane amo e koko would have been torn to pieces. La mo si ni le fa ya kwe kwe. Divine favor will make you a wonder to your contemporaries. Oju le le Allah you run you saw the eniara loju amo elebe. When divine favor is upon you, ma to oju le le Allah ruban belara re. 
when Balaam comes against you with his seven altars seven bullocks and seven lambs to curse you his curse will turn to blessing with divine favor you have the shout of a king in your camp divine favor is that red mark the enemy must not cross it keeps your enemy where your enemies belong with divine favor you will obtain what you are not qualified for what you didn't even ask for what people think is beyond you my favor you get it there's a brother in this church used to work in a chemical factory he was a foreman there's somebody before him supervisor and there's a person above that supervisor called manager there's a person above that manager called managing director so he had bosses ahead of him three bosses work in a chemical factory the brother didn't pray about favor until the day those who said he can no longer attend palm or change hands he can't come for where is the meeting he has to be working then he said ah, what kind of work is this then he plugs himself to the socket of divine favor then what happened is still a mystery even to him the European the owner of the company came to Nigeria for a visit so they were conducting him around the factory but when they got to somewhere there was a pipe the pipe was rusting it's a chemical factory so the, 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 the white founder of the company look at it he said there is a chemical reaction going on in that place he, he turned to the managing director so, so what's the name of that what's the name of that reaction the man said no idea sir he turned to the manager no idea sir no idea, sir. Turn to the supervisor. Oh, supervisor. So, no idea, sir. Yeah, no, 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 no. Our brother said, as his finger was moving towards him, something like cold water fell on his head. Like he just found that he opened his mouth. He didn't know what he was saying. But the man said, That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. So they went to another place in the factory. Another chemical reaction was taking place. Again, the man began to ask. Manager director, what does that mean? MD. No idea. No idea. Manager. Manager. No idea. Supervisor. Supervisor. No idea. The brother said, as the finger was coming towards him again. That cold feeling started again. He opened his mouth and spoke some rubbish. The man said, that's correct. You are very bright. They went to a third place. <laughs> the same thing happened again. What is this? Manager director, no idea when he got to him too he spoke the rubbish under the cold thing that fell on his head it's a very bright I'm impressed so after the tour he had a meeting and at the meeting the, the founders rose up and said the uh, What's the post of this man? So he's foreman. 
But he seemed to know more about what is happening here than all these people. It's okay. Foreman. Foreman. Take over as managing director. By managing director. And he told the managing director. Managing director. So you can either resign or come back to his position. So I am. Please uh, hand over the official car to you. You have to move out of the company's house. For this new managing director. Managing director to That was how uh, a brother who took Molue boss to work. Came back to church with a chauffeur driven car. Why? Kilofa. Favor. I plug my life into the socket of divine favor by the power in the blood of Jesus. Pray it loud and clear. Somebody is breaking through over there. Makapodi katende rabo sanda. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, look at Jesus. Like Badura. Have your seat. Ejoko. This is what favor can do for you. I can go on and on and share testimonies with you. As one girl from this church, she's never traveled to anywhere. He also woke up one morning. I want to go and study in America. The mother said, I don't even have money to send it to Nigeria. I want to go to America. I don't understand. The lady got a passport. She came to me. I said, pray for me, sir. I said, have you paid your school fees? I said, no, sir. Ah. They are not going to give you visa. Why have not paid the school fees? I don't think so. We won't live for any way, you know. He said I will go there. Just pray for me. Only my Lord, and you shall badura for me. We prayed. I said badura. She stopped eating. Who are you, woman? On the day before the interview, oku ojo kan lati lo fun for wa ni lenu wo. She didn't sleep in their house. O suni le won. She came and slept in one of the guest houses in church. O wa suni okan ninu awon ile ero. But she doesn't want pollution of that tenant house. Be o wo fe ke adalu ile koju si mi koju si eyan koko ba won. So she went there. She got there, the, the white man asked her. What do you want to go and do in the United States of America? So to study. Okay. Can I have the documents for your school fees? I want to wait over some way later. Sir, the Lord shall provide. The man looked at her. So what did you just say? The Lord shall provide. So you have, you have not paid any school fees. Ah, oh, this one will lay Say no, sir. It's okay, sorry. I can't give you the visa. The girl says, Excuse me, sir. That can be true. Yeah, it's your talk. What do you mean? Any kilo, sorry. Say because there was a word of knowledge in our church that I will get it. White man said, Word of knowledge. What is word of knowledge? She confused the man more. Says a word of knowledge is a prophetic utterance. What is prophetic utterances? <laughs> Say words uttered by a prophet of God. 
Man said, by the way, any who is this your prophet? That any will lead that don't saw it. That gave the word of knowledge. To so or a mono. Our father in the Lord. Only Baba Wadi do Lua. Who? Tani is your father in the Lord. Baba any no Lua. She mentioned my name. Who dare to call me? So the man looked confused. Okone wow. Okone poruru. Man said. Only yeah, strange little girl, aren't you? Yeah. Strange little girl. Yeah. Aren't you? Yeah. Aren't you? Strange little girl. Yeah. So, you know what? Yeah. I give you the visa. That's the funny way you are Louis. When she came here, and she stayed at the back and said, Please, I want to see the jail. Said, My staff should go and check whether she's crying. I don't know she's, she's laughing. She brought the visa back. Oh, by way, no. That can only be divine favor. Divine favor. I'm telling you, you this now. Learn. So you know how to pray. A boy came to Lagos from Ekiti. Primary six. Primary six local. That's all he has. He was staying with his uncle. The uncle has been in Lagos for 35 years. This boy was sleeping on a mat by his bed. This uncle does not go to church, does not pray. But this, but this brother from Ekiti, this from my sister, will come to meeting, he will pray, he will fast, he will go for deliverance. Eventually, he got a job as a messenger somewhere. Go and buy this. Go and buy that. This That's all he does. And they were paying 15,000 naira. And that's what he was doing. But he had prayed a dangerous prayer. To hook his head into favor. But no jewelry. They went on Christmas break. January. When they resume work, it's fine. The managing director coming. He prostrated. I said, Good morning, sir. Happy New Year, sir. And the man said, ah, Happy New Year, how are you? Said, stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. Stand up. Wait, what? Stand up. Did they? So when I was giving everybody a present in the New Year, did I give anything? Said, no, sir. I didn't get anything. So, um, okay, come to my office. The man sat down. He put his hand in his pocket. What's up? Brought out money. They put the money back in his pocket. Open his drawer. And brought some keys. So take. Go to this address. address bye bye. They giving me that house many years ago. Nobody's living there. You can take it. The brother said he pinched himself. Convinced that he was wide awake. He took the key. He took the key, went back home to his uncle. He said, uncle, uncle, my managing director gave me a house. I will say, are you mad? That he has been in Lagos for 35 years. He's still renting a place. So you that have just come from a kitty bush. He now say you have your so, uncle, this is the key, this is the address. Man said, really? It's for one now, it's straight. So, but let's go. They were surprised when they got there. They were thinking, even if it's going to have it, it's going to be a flat inside the block. But 
But when they got there, it was a whole house. He put the key in. It opened. It was then for the first time his uncle believed. And his uncle started to cry. That God, you are Pasha. That is not the end of the story. Second day, he went back to the MD to prostrate and to thank him. And the man said, get up, it's okay. Is the place still good? Say, yes, sir, yes, sir. Said, Any furniture inside? Say, no, sir, no furniture, but don't worry, sir. I said, no, 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 no. Said, you know, every... 30 years they change our furniture. Yeah. So, so the one they changed for me for this year, the old ones are sitting in the garage. Go and take all of them away. That was a boy. And that's no certificate. Nothing. Because of divine favor, got a whole house for himself. Fully furnished. In one week, I plug my life into the socket of divine favor by the power in the blood of Jesus. Open your mouth and decrease. Let your voice be louder than this. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Remain standing where you are. Two conditions to obtain that favor. One, you need to become a friend of God by surrendering your life to Jesus. And you need to be a person who is a friend of the Almighty. And so if you are here, you have not just surrendered your life to Jesus. You need to do so very quickly before we start praying now. The second thing you need is violent faith. The violent faith is not a problem for you because you are here today. So you need to put that of violent faith and transport it to violent prayer. Those are the two things you need. But if you are here tonight, you are not born again, you have not just under the life to Jesus, wherever you are, why all eyes are closed say what I'm going to say after we tell you so father in the name of Jesus I come before you now Lord Jesus come into my life take control of my life in Jesus name amen to say that short prayer with me wait and see us after the service don't rush home Thank you, Jesus. I am going to pray three prayers. And you are going to shout seven amen. The louder your amen on those three prayers, the faster your ability to key into divine favor. I'm, I'm praying for you that he who binds the water in thick clouds. Shall bring forth to your life. Uncommon breakthroughs. The Lord God of Elijah 
shall arise by thunder and by fire and it will make you a man or woman of great favor and every dog backing against your reign of favor I silence them now in the name of Jesus time for you to now pray time to pray please I want to beg you if you are not used to praying hard pray this one hard because once this product of heaven come upon you your story will certainly change say angels of favor Angels of favor, look at me now. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. In Jesus' name we pray. Shout this loud and clear. Divine favor. Divine favor. In Jesus' name we pray. You will now shout this loud and clear. My head. You know your head is the symbol of your destiny. My head. My head. My head. Can you shout it three times like that? Hear the word of the Lord. Receive divine favor. In the name of Jesus. Something is happening here. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, so many transactions are taking place. Thank you, Jesus. Let me tell you some of them. On the wish the the people who are involved will testify. I want to come. You see, Yes. Very. That interview you are going for, if I want to learn what you love, shall become a walkover for you. Where are you, Jesse? Because of the prayer you prayed just now, the Lord is ushering many people into uncommon wealth. 
the kind of place they think you will never go the kind of house that you think you will never have I see you possessing them in the name of Jesus aha then the kind of breakthrough that the whole of your lineage family lineage have never experienced you will be the first person to up to experience it in the name of Jesus Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Stretch your right hand towards this altar now. Father, we thank you for the power in the blood of Jesus. Let the anointing for deliverance, anointing for complete healing, fall upon these hands in the name of Jesus. Let these hands break every yoke of the enemy. In the name of Jesus. Now, if you have any infirmity in any part of your body, smite it 21 times. Shouting, go back to your senders. Let's go. Do it well, do it well. Shedada, shedada. Makatenda, ribo kapal, di kate. Amen. Amen. Begin to check your body now. Do what you could not do before you got here. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Bring out your mana water now. And let your amen roar like thunder. As many people as would encounter this water, they will notice a favor baptism. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. We lift our manna water to you. Let the anointing for uncommon favor. The anointing for divine favor. The anointing for breakthroughs. That will make the enemy to be shocked. The anointing for testimonies that will shock your friends and amaze your friends. Let it fall upon the water in the river. Let this water become the water that breaks yokes. The water of healing. The water of deliverance. The water of power. The water of strength. The water of glory. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. I cover your children with the blood of Jesus. The Lord blesses you from Zion. And make his face to shine upon you. And be gracious unto you. All the prayer requests, our Lord, answer them by fire. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. A louder amen. Let us share the grace of fellowship.